Hey guys, it's Lucas, and in this video we're going to be showing you how you can set up your capture solvers on AI Oba, and I'm going to briefly talk about the different capture solvers uh, that you will be dealing with on different sites. So to set up your capture solver, you first want to go to the Tasks tab and you want to go to Our Open Capture. And when you're on here, you get to decide whether you want to sign in as a guest or whether you want to uh, add an account instead. The difference between the two is if you sign in as a guest, you would be required to sign in with your Google account, except that it would be using your local IP. Uh, however, if you were to go as add new, then you would add your email, your password, but you would also be using a CAPTCHA proxy. Now, I don't want to get too much into details with regards to that to avoid any confusion, but uh, basically you would want to use this feature if for example, you're using multiple CAPTCHA solvers, that way you could maybe have one signed in as a guest and then the remaining will be, you know, through added new through a uh, proxy, uh, through a CAPTCHA proxy. Or, uh, or if your local IP is already banned, then, you know, you would have to use a CAPTCHA proxy. And what I mean by local IP being banned, it means that if you were to try to access the site on your local browser, then you wouldn't be able to access it. In that case, you would want to use a CAPTCHA proxy and sign in with your Google account using that CAPTCHA proxy, uh, of course, assuming that the CAPTCHA proxy is not banned. The process for both uh, add new and guest is very similar. I'm just going to go for guest now, and we're just going to assume that I actually signed into my Google account. Now, over here, you'll have the different CAPTCHA uh, solvers that you get to select from. And it's quite easy to, if you notice that, you know, there are different categories for the different types of sites. So if you're setting up for Shopify, you just need to open the Shopify solver. And likewise for, you know, Adidas, Adidas solver, and all other foot sites as well, as well as ZZ Supply. So I'm going to go ahead and discuss the different types of captures that you will be dealing with throughout drops. The first and the most uh, common type of capture that you will see is usually the ones that... Uh, you know, are on sites such as Supreme and on Shopify. On Supreme, if you were to click on it, now you'll see that it's empty. However, when there is, when you have your tasks running, uh, during the release, there will be pop-up here that will have you solve a capture. And the capture on Supreme looks similar to this. It will just show this, the bot will auto-click the I'm not a robot, and then you will have to uh, manually solve the capture. So as you can see here, I got my cars. Got to spot all the cars. And once you found all the cars, you click on verify. And that's it. So that's the kind of that's the kind of capture that you will usually have on Supreme. And it's just worth noting that uh, you know the capture is one of these uh, things that you know you can't really automate. You can't there is no software out there that actually solves these captures for you. That's where you have to kind of go in and solve it as quick as possible. Now there is, it is worth noting that for Supreme, there is this small little feature called a one-click. And a one-click is pretty much, you know, if you were to go on the, on the CAPTCHA, and if you were to click on the CAPTCHA, it would instantly give you a tick without having you to solve a CAPTCHA puzzle. And you would get a one-click whenever, uh, you know, Google trusts your account, meaning that if you have signed in with a Google, with a Google account, uh, that you know has been around for some time uh, and that is used regularly maybe your personal Gmail that you use on a daily basis then there is a higher likelihood that you would get a one click of course if you have multiple tasks then maybe the first task or two may get a one click but as soon as you start having many tasks the one click goes away and the reason for that is Google starts suspecting why is this person uh, solving so many captures at the same time you know, which is why we usually recommend if you're having a multiple amount, of, if you have multiple tasks and you're running on a site like Supreme, then uh, you want to have multiple capture solvers. Now, Shopify has two different types of sites. If I were to go back to guest, so if you watch the Shopify setup video, you will see that we talked about uh, sites with bot protection and sites without bot protection. So if we were to go to Shopify. 
If we were to discuss uh, sites that did not have bot protection, then it would work very similarly to the way it works with Supreme, uh, where you just click on a box and there is a chance that you could get a one click. And if you don't get a one click, then you just solve normally. So that's kind of like simple. However, if the site does have bot protection and majority of Shopify uh, sites that you know release hyped items these days actually do have a bot protection on, and that means when you're running boost mode tasks, uh, on AI Obot, that will usually mean that you will still get the same type of captcha, right? The, which we call, by the way, this is called the V2 captcha. You will be getting the same uh, type of V2 captcha, except for boost mode tasks or for sites where there is uh, bot protection, you will not uh, get any one clicks. There is no chance. No matter how trusted your uh, Google account is, uh, there, the site will force you to solve a captcha which usually means that when you are on a Shopify site with bot protection and you're running boost mode, you don't want to have too many tasks. Having too many tasks means that you're going to have to solve way too many captures. Another important note about uh, sites with boost mode is they, uh, these sites usually have two types of captures that you have to solve for every task. The first captcha is what we call a checkpoint captcha. So if you were to go on the Shopify site, before you're even allowed to access the site for the release, you will already be told to s solve a checkpoint capture. Once you solve that checkpoint capture, you, get, you go through and you get to add the item to your cart. And then once you start trying to check out the item, it will have you, uh, it will have you solve another capture, with it, which is the checkout capture. Uh, the, the, the solving process is the exact same thing for all these different captures. It's just the fact that you have to keep in mind that, you know, since you have two captures per task to solve, then obviously you don't want to have like uh, 30, 40 tasks because then you would have to solve like 60, 80 captures. And by the time you solve all these captures, you know, the release would have been over. So there's kind of like no point in going too, with too many tasks for uh, such a release. Whereas on a site such as Supreme um, and on a site such as, you know, Shopify sites without bot protection, you usually could uh, try to have more tasks than you usually would with tasks uh, for, you know, for boost mode tasks. Uh, however, you know, you still want to be uh, careful with the number of tasks that you pick. You know, you still can't go too overboard because you're still going to be required to solve captures. You know, the one clicks will work to a certain extent and at some point you'll run out of one clicks for all your uh, Google accounts. Now, how you can get one clicks and you know, all the process, all the kind of like information related to one clicks can be found in our Discord guides. Uh, but for now, we're gonna jump onto the next site and we're gonna talk about foot sites. Now, foot sites also do have a V2 captcha. These days, it's you don't really have to solve captures on foot sites, so it's not really that much of a concern. Uh, so we jump to the next type of captcha, which will be the captcha that you will see on demand word sites, such as Adidas and Yeezy Supply. So when you're on here, you no longer get V2 captures. You will get something which is called a V3 captcha. And a V3 captcha is actually a captcha solver that you don't actually have to solve. Uh, it, though it is very important to have the captcha solver actually in its own open. So before a drop, you want to have uh, not only just one, but you could have multiple Yeezy Supply captchas open. And while you won't have to solve, the bot actually uses uh, these uh, capture solvers to harvest what they call v3 tokens now you don't have to worry about the technical terms here all you have to know is that you have to have uh, your easy supply or your adidas solvers open you won't have to solve anything uh, however you do need to sign in with your uh, you know google account on each and every one right so you go to youtube again you sign in with your google account now once you're signed in uh, you would be able to test the V3 score. And so the V3 score, if you were to compare it with the one click, you know, a v, having a V3 score that is too high, that means that it is trusted by Google. Uh, whereas having a too low of a V3 score means that it's not, tr that your Google account is not trusted by Google. And what, the way Easy Supply and Adidas determine whether you will pass through Q or not is 
you know, they, they, they do take a big consideration on how trusted your uh, Google account is or even more specifically as well, like how trusted the, your IP address is as well. So when you are using capture proxies, you wanna make sure you also use trusted capture proxies. And what I mean by capture proxies, once again, is if you go to add new, and if you were to add proxies here, you wanna make sure that these capture proxies are indeed trusted ones that will be able to go through queue. And that's usually something that you ask your provider, uh, whether you know their proxies do work on the Easy Supply and Adidas queue system. But yeah, just to give you a small idea about the V3 scores, now I'm not logged into any Google account, but if you were to click on test V3 score, it will have it will go over and it will try to, you know, it will give you a different score. A score of 0 0.9 is actually the best score that you can get for your Google account. Now, if you have a score of 0 0.7 for your Google account, that's also good. Uh, if you were to have a score such as 0.3, that's concerning. And if you have a score of 0.1, then that's terrible. You know, then you, you know, there's a problem with your Google account, or you have already solved way too many captures in such a small duration that you kind of need to give it a bit time for it to, for the trust score to go back up, right? So th these are just kind of like some small tips to keep in mind. The 0 0.9 score is, 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 is sort of similar to having a one click in a sense that this is the most ideal situation that you could be in uh, when it comes to having a, a, a capture solve. But yeah, other than that, you know, there isn't worth talking about the other sides uh, since they don't really drop as much. Uh, I, a very small note though, this is the DSM capture. However, do not confuse this with the eFlash DSM site. What I mean by that is, if you were to go to Shopify, and I see many people make this mistake all the time. If you were to go here, you will notice that there are the different DSM sites, but they are called eFlash DSM. Sometimes people will set up this DSM solver for an eFlash site. However, that is incorrect. For the eFlash sites, you need a Shopify solver since these are Shopify sites. So, when would you use the DSM Capture Solver? Well, actually, if you were to go to other, you will notice that DSM has a version of its sites which is, which is not an eFlash, and that's where you would usually want to have the, the DSM Capture Solvers open. However, it is worth noting that all these DSM sites rarely ever drop. So, the most of the majority of times, you're gonna whenever we tell you there's an eFlash drop. You're gonna wanna go to Shopify, you wanna set up your eFlash DSM sites, and then you wanna have the Shopify solver open. But you know, other than that, these are really the main two capture solvers that you have to deal with on 99% of the sites. You know, it's either gonna be the V2 capture, which is the most ordinary, ordinary one, which we just already discussed, so just tick the box, solve a capture puzzle, and then you have sites such as Adidas Easy Supply, which will have you solve, but not solve any captures in particular, but have you open the V3 capture solvers and you let the bot do its own thing. And, uh, you know, hopefully you found this video useful. I try to cram in as much information as I could about the captures and different captures. Hope you found that useful and on to the next vid.